everyone, you're watching Spartan G Gaming. I'd just like to start off first of all by saying a massive, massive thank you to my 7,000 plus subscribers so far. You're all totally wicked guys and I cannot thank you all enough for supporting the channel in the way that you do. It really means a lot to me. I'd also like to thank all non-subscribers as well and to all you players out there who have found a little bit of time of the day to watch this next video. It really means a lot to me guys and again I cannot thank you all enough for supporting the channel. Now in today's video, I've been at work grinding away as hard as I possibly can all week to try and get some really cool and skillful throwing knife kills. Now I'm not new to throwing knife kills as I've already completed all the calling card challenges for throwing knives many many months ago. I think the best one that I ever did and many of you have already completed as well is the Hail Mary throwing knife kill challenge where you need to get a long shot with a throwing knife. Now I did make a video on that at the time I did that when the game near enough was first released and if you haven't watched that guys and you still want to complete that challenge and unlock that Hail Mary calling card then hopefully you can find help there at the link that I gave you and uh, so you can complete that challenge yourself. But since then and getting the hundreds of throwing knives kills over the games that you've played you know I've not really found the use to use the throwing knife kills since then so now I'm setting myself a challenge and trying to get some really cool knife kills because it is a very skillful challenge that you have to do when you're going for the knife kills on the opposition so to warm myself up again after not using the throwing knives for many months is I've come onto the Shipman 1944 map where if you're not very quick with your aiming in and you're not accurate, if you're not quick with your reactions, you're going to come off second best every time and you're going to die. So it's forcing you to be quick with your reactions, it's forcing you to be agile, it's forcing you to be accurate with your aiming, again to get the kill on the enemy. If not, as I said, you're going to die every single time. So Shipman 1944 really helped me again to warm up with throwing knife kills and to be more accurate accurate with my aim and him. Then I went out and went on to some more maps and went on to some of the new War Machine maps and then hopefully I got some really cool kills that you guys are going to find exciting. But also at the end of this video I am going to create a top five. Now the top five throwing knife kills for me was very difficult to choose from. As you see in here now on the Shiba 1944 map I got loads of kills and trying to choose just five to put in the top five of the best throwing knife kills of the week was very difficult. So hopefully you guys when I show you that top five will be pleased with hopefully some of the throwing knife kills that I got. This was a good one here. This is actually going to be in my top five later on. It was another long shot kill with the throwing knife which is very difficult to do. Okay, so now on to the new War Machine maps, where after all that warm-up I had with the Shipman 1944 map, then started to make it easier for throwing knife kills when you've got maps that are a little bit more wide and open. Now I found because of the new maps have become available to us again, we're now starting to get plenty of campers around. And once a camper, always a camper. Once they're there once, guys, and you get them with a throwing knife, you can actually go back and do it again. I'll guarantee you they'll be there time and time again. So it gives you another chance to get an easy throwing knife kill. So there's nothing special to this and nothing cool about it. I'm just using Mountain Division to sneak up behind the enemy, and it just gets another throwing knife kill, especially if you're after uh, you know, those hundreds of throwing knife kills that you need to complete another challenge. Okay, so the Egyptian map is really good for getting those throwing knife kills on. This now brings me to the first of my top five. So this is number five. Now, this was in the heat of battle. I got a throwing knife kill, then I went on to get another two kills. This actually did make the kill cam at the end of the game. So I was quite impressed with that one. Now the range is not too far away, but why I chose this as number five was because I didn't hardly see the enemy coming. All I saw was just the head of him coming up those steps there and then I aimed as probably accurate as I possibly could have done just seeing the enemy head because I had to take him out first with the direction that he's travelling in. The other two could wait because they, were, they had the backs to me. So that was why I chose that at number five. Now this is number four. We're on the Dunkirk map now. Now the reason I've chosen this at number four for is because I was near half death when I got this kill. And it's kind of a medium range kill I would say. I had to be quick as I was going to die at any second because this was in hardcore mode. I'm going to slow it down now so you can see that range there guys and it was quite a decent kill that I got there which is why I chose this at number four. Okay so at number three I'm going back now you've already seen this one already to the Gibraltar map. Now the reason I chose this at number three four because it was quite a difficult kill that I got 
I had to be getting the trajectory right as well, and I had to be quick with doing it because I didn't actually see the enemy coming over until the last moment, but my aim was that accurate at the time. It was a little bit of luck involved with that, but I actually got him as he was climbing over the wall, which I thought was quite cool. Now, this is number two. So this is probably a really good kill that I probably... this I debated whether to put this at number one, but the skill level in this was quite difficult, I believe, myself personally, in that the enemy that I threw that throwing knife upon was very difficult to see because he was hiding, as I'm going to slow it down in a moment, in between two stone structures there, in between point A. So it was quite difficult to get the aim in, but I had to be fast because he was shooting at me. I was getting shot by the enemy, so I had to be quick in the end with my aiming in. I had to get the trajectory right again, and I managed to get that lovely kill. So that's why I selected that at number two. But number one, you've already seen this, guys, is another long shot kill with the throwing knife. Now, this is probably my fifth long shot kill I've got with the throwing knife, and I'm going to try and make more of these, but this is why I chose this at number one, because it was really difficult to get, because I couldn't even see the enemy. The enemy was not visible. I had an idea of where they were because we were playing hard point, but it was just the accuracy of the throw. The trajectory was right, and again, not seeing the enemy, I had to guess. I assumed they were in there because they'd taken point that hard point, and so I went with it, managed to get the kill, and I thought that was pretty impressive, pretty skillful, and again, what impressed me most of all to get that number one was the fact that it was a long shot. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully you liked my top five. I'm going to try and make more of these, but with different uh, weapons and equipment, if I can, if you do like it enough, guys. So please don't forget to like it. I'm just leaving you here with an ultra kill with my shotgun, guys. Eight rapid kills on the trot, which is very difficult again to do, but Shipman 1944 makes it so easy. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Take care.